Robbie Weeds here. Got an example of some apple scab. Very common on crab apples and other uh, uh, apple varieties. Some uh, species more susceptible than others. Uh, very common. Um, this is summer uh, once it gets hot and uh, varying from moist and dry and moist and dry and hot and uh, you can see these lesions uh, start to form. See on the top of the leaf the yellow uh, spots then the underside of the leaf um, here along this uh, stem you can see uh, almost little uh, hairs growing from a lesion. Um, it's one of the identifying factors of apple scab. See right here another lesion that's, uh, that's the fruit of the, the fungus they call it. It's fruiting. Um, here you go, here's some more. Um, very common. Um, almost impossible to spread curative treatments other than to stop the spread of the disease. Um, you would have to treat this preventatively if you wanted to have a tree free of disease. If you sprayed a fungicide now, it would just stop the spread. Uh, if I were to, um, I would recommend in springtime starting with uh, maybe a strobin, maybe a trioxystrobin, um, then moving into uh, maybe Eagle 20, um, uh, then Dacanil. You want to rotate maybe those three fungicides uh, throughout the year, every 21 to 28 days. Um, but yeah, you, without a doubt, you don't want to build up a resistance. So you would pick three uh, um, fungicides all in different um, mode of action groups and rotate them throughout the summer. Um, that's the only way to get a clean apple tree other than that. Um, if you're trying to do a curative treatment, it's just not going to work. You're not going to get a clean apple tree. You're just going to stop the spread. Um, that's not just uh, isolated to apple scab. That's most turf or ornamental diseases. Just curative isn't really practical. The only way uh, you're either going to live with the disease and not treat it at all, or you're going to treat it preventatively. Trying to cure it, uh, treat anything curatively just isn't... Uh, very practical it's going to be expensive and the results really aren't guaranteed um so uh it's either invest in preventative treatments and do them right or just not do anything at all and live with the disease and hope that uh the damage is uh not fatal or terminal to the the plants